Hello guys and uh, today I'm going to show you something very simple and very quick in uh, Quarkus. So we are going to connect uh, uh, Quarkus uh, Open API or REST API to Swagger UI. So after that we're going to be using Swagger UI to uh, display our REST APIs and uh, we shall be able to test them on the Swagger UI very fast. So this is what I'm actually talking about. If at all I can log it, uh, load it here very fast. Uh, Localhost, we normally uh, access it at swagger.ui. Yes, something like this. While you have a, a Swagger UI, uh, you can test your REST APIs. You can see this is a VAT controller. This is a VAT calculator. And, uh, and this endpoint here, you can test your endpoints. Uh, this endpoint uh, calculates gross amount. But uh, in order to calculate, we can now try it out and see what it does exactly. It tells you that we need uh, to provide the, the VAT in order to get the gross amount. So if I told you, 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 you want to know how much you will be getting or how much you receive, if I told they're taking a certain amount of VAT, let me say, 100k of VAT and so how much would you be getting uh, considering that you have a VAT constant of about 18% uh, a VAT rate of about 18% so after putting in the VAT you say execute it will execute and it will tell you that your gross amount is this 555 and then after they getting the gross amount and they take off the VAT uh, you might be remaining with only the net amount which will be paid off as your uh, money to the account. So that's this. So meaning this uh, re uh, endpoint, REST endpoint that calculates the gross amount is working. So in the next tutorials, I'll be showing you how I did this uh, project, the VAT calculator uh, in uh, Quarkus, Java, and then how I'm exposing my REST APIs and of course, uh, endpoint. So the next endpoint is also part of the VAT calculator, but it calculates the net amount. So looking at the net amount, you can also try it out. Mm -hmm. If you want to calculate the net amount, then you must provide your gross amount. Gross amount pay. Let me say if I'm being paid uh, one million shillings or one million dollars, and then per month, if I execute. I'm saying I'm being paying, paid one million dollars per month or per year, something like that. So I want to know how much is the, um, the net amount that I'm going to be getting, if at all, after subjecting my salary to the VAT uh, tax. So after after subjecting, this is these are the result body after testing a rest endpoint. So after subjecting your uh, tax or gross tax of one million to the VAT tax. I mean your gross income of 1 million to the VAT tax after subjecting it to data you will be remaining with a net amount of 82 or 820,020 dollars something like that then this is the amount of VAT that has been deducted so you can see this rest endpoint also works too you can clear and you see now we have another endpoint which is part of this VAT calculator API the rate if at all we want to know how much is the uh, VAT rate how much are they deducting or i mean how much percentage are they taking off my uh, gross amount so they tell you if you want to test it out try, try out provide your gross amount which is one million dollars and they tell, ask you how much then is your net amount how much are you receiving for example, if an employer is giving you one million, then how much is it the exact money that you get after all the deductions? Probably you're getting, uh, let me say, uh, 900, yes. So you execute this and it will calculate uh, the VAT and then it will give you the rate. Your rate is 0 0.9, which is actually 9%. And tell you that the VAT is 100 okay so guys this is how they expose the endpoints and uh, apis on swagger so i'm going to be showing you how they do it in intellij very fast uh, without uh, going into details of installing swagger uh, codem swagger ui swagger things like that the complicated stuff let me show you very quick stuff here uh, probably you will catch me up in the next story if i told you don't get what you're 
uh, what we are talking about but let me do it so fast here so first of all you have your uh, ide for example in theory you opened um step one we will go to uh, uh, quarkus.io which is the main website for the quarkus documentation then uh, step one you will go for learn then on the drop down look for documentation not getting started just documentation click on documentation it will load the documentation I don't know why they're saying it's not being read. Okay, so now after visiting the documentation, uh, we have the documentation page. Come to the filter and search for Quarkus, I mean for Open API. Before you finish, we have these guides using Open API and Swagger. Click on that and make sure it opens as fast as possible. Okay, so uh, opening on the uh, open AI Swagger UI, just scroll down because these are the actually the prerequisites you need to uh, complete the guide. Yes, you need to have an IDE. Okay, and that's about uh, you have and you have to have JDK 11 or plus installed. Uh, you need to have Java Home configured. That is if you have any Java program or any Quarkus program already running. You have all these set up. Uh, Apache, Marvin 3.8, for example, if you already have Quarkus uh, program, if you don't have all this set, you haven't started any Marvin Quarkus programs, please try to look out on my uh, previous story about setting up any uh, new Quarkus Marvin projects and uh, how to, you know, uh, troubleshoot them, uh, beginner levels and uh, the Hello World, Hello Rest Easy uh, project and then you set up everything plus your idea and every installation and then come back here uh -huh. so now we can go ahead and see now before uh, normally you should follow these procedures to the end and uh, that's uh, will be a little bit of hectic of time but uh, let me save you uh, this headache by giving you a simple method a simple technique uh, let's see this clone this is repository this is the git repository that we're going to clone and then the solution will be located in the OpenAI Swagger UI quick start. So this is, this is the project that we're going to go for because it already has everything configured. But it's uh, in this project that we have to clone from uh, GitHub. So we copy the, uh, the repository link, copy this, okay, copy, and then you clone it into your uh, IDE, good file. I'm using IntelliJ. If I told you using any other IDE, just make sure you create a new project. But when you're creating a new project, go to Project from Version Control. Click on Project, project from Version Control. So here they give you, uh, uh, of course, uh, an option of pasting the, uh, the URL that we've just copied from uh, Quarkus. Paste it here, and once you paste it here, it will show you that uh, uh, you can clone the project. So click on clone. It will clone the project and it gives you a full project. But me, I already have the project. So if at all I click on clone, they will say the directory already exists and it is not empty. So probably you can just change this to a new directory. That is if at all you have it already just like me. I already have it, so let me just change it. But for if you if you're doing this for the first time, you don't need to change anything, just click on clone, it will just proceed and clone everything. Okay, let me just check this directory. I'm sure there's nothing here. Okay, can choose that swagger then open. Make sure I change directory now. I've changed it to new directory. Okay. Yeah, it's actually persisting, but uh, no worries. I can try to move around something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after a cloning, you will receive a message that. Uh, 
trust this project you say yes trust the project and open it in this window you can say yeah, new window because we really want it in the new window it will download all the projects with it and uh, install it in your IDE and it will clone the project the way it has downloaded it from um, github and it will install it in your IDE as you can see now everything is moving quick starts for getting started guides stuff like that now it has so many modules with it just be patient with it until it finishes loading all the modules and then I will show you some magic after that uh, that's after loading all these modules we are not interested in all these modules we are only interested in uh, only one module called um, uh, quick start something like that open AI style let's look for it as it loads the modules okay yeah it's here this is the only module that we are interested in called open AI swagger UI quick start so we have to be patient until it finishes loading all the modules and then we can uh, um, okay let's wait for it to load the modules and to make sure that they are done resolving all the magic dependencies uh, give it a little bit time and then after that just like i said we are mostly interested in only the open uh, API Swagger UI quick start so we are going to kind of uh, delete all the modules and remain with only this open AI Swagger UI quick start module I think we are done we're good to go okay so let's open our module the one that we are interested in I uh, got source then go to main and then go to Java now inside here we only have two resource I mean only one resource the fruit resource which is given as an example and uh, we are going to use this uh, to expose these endpoints on our uh, swagger uh, ui now after this let's delete the rest of the uh, modules we don't need them just highlight them all of them and then delete them because first of all you delete the module then you delete the uh, its directory too okay we did it from here from amazon right click you say remove module first remove the module first then come back after removing the module and say delete and delete every module so you will see that we, are, we, are, we will be remaining with just a few modules then also yeah now remaining with the open api focus okay we have our modules here we also delete these ones we have to remain with only one module that we are interested in. Okay, first of all, uh, remove the module, remove, and then delete the module, delete, then delete. So it will delete all the modules, and then we are good to go. Okay, so I think we don't need that. Uh, don't need, uh, don't need uh, the yeah. I have another project here. We don't need this project. This was taken off. In terms of the level, it has been processing. So I should have to remain with this module of ours. We've deleted everything and we've remained with only Quarkus Quick Start main module. Uh, I mean, project. Then now uh, we only have one module that project is OpenAI Swagger Quick Start. So if you open that we might be just open, open main, Java, then we have a fruit resource. That's all we have. Now you have to pay attention. We're going to run the Quarkus UI. Now, how do we run this? Go to Maven on this side, you will see Maven, and then I open the quick start project. Now you have to be very conscious because you are interested in the open AI trigger quick start. Open this. Then I go its plugins. Uh, then I look for Quarkus in the plugins. This is where we have Quarkus. 
then look for focus D. The, um, the UI, the Swagger UI, is only available when you run uh, the application with the Quarkus D. Double click the Quarkus D uh, plugin and the application will start off to run. Okay, it's now compiling and running everything. It will have to download all everything that you need. Okay, so now it's done running and it will be listening at port 880. So we can load this port to expose our... Uh -huh. So now your new cloud native application is ready, but it's ready. How are we going to access the uh, Swagger UI? Now remember in our documentation here, they say you have to access the Swagger UI on a... Uh, on, uh, on, on, on what we call on a link called uh, port 888 of course slash q slash swagger ui so let me actually close this because we already have one hours that is actually running so it's a slash q slash then swagger uh -huh, hyphen ui i think that's it then load this it will obviously open the Quarkus, uh, I mean the Swagger UI now. Successfully, you've opened your APIs and endpoints on the Swagger UI. Now you can see this is a fruit resource API, and these are its endpoints. The get endpoint, the post endpoint, and the delete endpoint. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and try to test them to see what they are really uh -huh. It doesn't take any parameters, so you just execute. I think now you can see in response to the uh, endpoint name of the fruit, which is apple description, which is winter fruit. Uh -huh. Another one name, apple description, winter fruit. This is all included in our code here that came by default. Can minimize this. So now you can see successfully uh, that our uh, endpoint has successfully uh, published on uh, the Swagger UI. So successfully now you have the Swagger UI uh, listening and uh, exposing all your APIs and plus the endpoints in it, the gate, post, delete. So this has been a hassle before this video for quite some time, but now I think after this video it will be a little bit simpler for you guys. So. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.